Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today's video is going to be analyzing some stickers that may have not gotten the spotlight when they should have and could see a rise in the future. This video is going to be categorically separated into different tournaments, but I'm going to go into those specific tournaments and find specific stickers that I think are the front runners for investing for this upcoming year and beyond. But before that, let's take a quick look at SkinBay. SkinBay is a beautiful site with a very easy to use user interface and you can go ahead and use my link in the description below. It supports the channel quite a lot if you make purchases on SkinBay and if you do decide to buy anything on Skinbait, be sure to let me know. It's a great marketplace. I really highly recommend checking it out. And without further ado, let's get started on this video. So the first tournament that I'm going to be analyzing today is going to be DreamHack 2014. So DreamHack 2014 is notorious for the fact they didn't release very many team stickers in their Hollow collection. There's only about five or six, and in the paper collection there actually exists the rest of the teams that did not get a Hollow version. So for example, we could have had an I by Power Hollow from DreamHack 2014. We never did, just simply because of how the tournament was actually structured. Other than that, though, there's not really a lot to say about the tournament. It was just kind of one of those tournaments that's a little bit more low-key, and not a lot of investors know about it as a whole. So let's get into what I think are the specific best investments for this tournament. Starting off with the papers, obviously the front runner is going to be the I by Power paper. This is just an I by Power sticker, and simply put, it's one of those legendary stickers that's always going to be down in CSGO investment history as such a legendary and expensive sticker because of how good it looks. The I by Power. DreamHack 2014 is very popularly applied on red lines, for example, so this is one of those stickers out there that could actually decrease in quantity pretty rapidly. It's at a pretty cheap price of around $50 right now, so if you want to go ahead and pick one of these up before it's too late, I would say that's absolutely a good idea. Another good option here is the Planet Key Dynamics sticker. This is the only time Planet Key Dynamics has ever appeared in a tournament, and it's one of those rare orange and black color scheme stickers that you don't really see very often. It also has a pretty good overall logo, and it is pretty commonly applied on stuff like the USP Orion, so overall a pretty good sticker. This one so far has risen about $2.50 since I've seen it, but for a old sticker that, you know, really isn't in the hype zone as much as some of these other stickers, it's actually a pretty good option and good rates. Overall, I really wouldn't recommend too many other stickers except for maybe the Bravado Gaming one, simply because there's a lot of really, you know, blue and black colored stickers from the paper collection here, and so a lot of those are a little bit too similar to Rise as a whole, just simply because they aren't very unique from each other. The Navi paper is actually kind of decent, it does have a pretty big logo, and it is yellow and black, which is a fairly more unique color scheme from this collection at least, so I think the Navi sticker does have some potential, but probably not much as these other papers. Now moving on to the big price boys, the big earners for this collection, it's definitely going to be every single hollow. I don't think any of these hollows are a bad choice for investing, they're all pretty decent, of course they are getting rarer by the day, and they are all going to be good investments going forward. Obviously the Ninjas in Pajamas hollow is actually not as good as the other hollows in the collection, but it does have its own niche on stuff like the AK Wasteland Rebel, where it does look very, very good. So I would say that even though it's one of the cheaper ones, it's still a good investment just simply because it has that niche, and it is a very unique looking Ninjas in Pajamas brown hollow sticker, which is pretty hard to come by, to be honest. To specifically recommend some stickers here, I would definitely see the Cloud9 hollow and the Fnatic hollow. The Fnatic hollow just looks absolutely incredible in game, it has a very wide range of colors, and is just overall a really good hollow, and it's one of the cheaper ones too, which is nice. Furthermore, the Cloud9 hollow is one of those really rare blue hollows where it's an all blue hollow, and it is a very good looking sticker. I have a few crafts with these on them, and it just looks really good overall. Also, the Cloud9 sticker actually recently had a pretty big spike in price. It was trading at around $56 to $65, and recently spiked up to around $75. And moving on to the foils for this collection, I would say none of the foils are really good options, and they don't really stand out too much overall, except for maybe the Dignitas foil, although I would just regularly buy one of the other hollows if you had the money to spend on the Dignitas foil anyway. Now here's a quick analysis of the quantity chart that we have for these hollow stickers. This is thanks to Hey P's brother, hopefully I actually pronounced that correct on Twitter. He tagged me on the post and he made this nice little graphic. As you can see by the graph, the quantity of the Fnatic Hollows is the lowest of all and by a pretty fair margin, so that one obviously is going to be bolstered as more of a good choice. I would definitely look for the Fnatic Hollows if I were you and I would say that's one of the most outstanding ones, mostly because the Cloud9 Hollow actually did recently have a rise, 
so we're probably not going to expect another price spike anytime soon. Do keep in mind that these quantities are not 100% accurate. They were taken from CSGO Exchange, so we're not 100% sure if this is the actual accurate quantity numbers, but the breakdown is probably just much the same, even with all the extra ones that aren't included on CSGO Exchange. Also, one more disclaimer, just because something has low quantity does not automatically mean it's going to be a better investment than other items. We can see that this very clearly backs up to the fact that better looking stickers are going to have higher prices regardless of quantity. As you can see, the Cloud9 Hollow does have the highest quantity, but it also has the highest price. The next tournament that I want to analyze is going to be Katowice 2015, and it's actually only going to be one sticker from Katowice 2015, and that's going to be the CLG Hollow. The reason I think the CLG Hollow is going to be a good investment is simply because it looks really good, and it actually has a very unique effect that no other sticker in the game has, and it's that weird sort of blue and gold effect that it has going on. It has a weird sort of hollow pattern on the edges of the sticker, on the like a squares you could call them, instead of just on the logo itself, which I think is a pretty interesting and niche thing, and does fit on a lot of interesting crafts as well. So I think going forward that one's going to be good, especially because it's one of the lower priced ones despite having a comparably more unique design than other stickers in this collection. So I think this is one to look out for, but maybe not specifically invest in right now. So moving on to the third and final tournament for this video, and that's going to be Cologne 2014. The reason I'm only talking about three tournaments for this video, I will talk about briefly. But basically, Cologne 2014 is gonna have a lot of good options here, but one of the main ones, of course, is going to be the Dignitas Hollow. And this is obviously a very expensive sticker. It's pretty clear to see that this one is already at a pretty high price compared to the other stickers in the collection, of course but I think this one specifically is going to be a good investment for a number of reasons. And the first reason is obviously because it's actually the best Cologne 2014 sticker out of the entire capsule by a large margin. It already shows that in its price and its demand, and I also think that another big thing about it is it is actually considerably better than the Ketavici 2014 Dignitas Hollow for specific crafts and specific items. This has one of those odd sort of designs that is a little bit more desirable than other counterparts, even though they have bigger logos. So a little weird dynamic there to look out for, but I definitely think this is going to be a great sticker going forward. It's already risen to pretty high prices and it's stayed rising for a very long time now, but I think it's only going to go higher and we can see it heating prices equal to around what the crown foil is at right now because this one is just such a crazy good looking sticker. Do keep in mind of course this is already a pretty expensive sticker and while I do think that it's just going to gain in price I would say that you should really only conserve it to the higher value investors the ones that can put more money into it and maybe don't risk as much as you could on this item. Now another really great sticker from this collection is going to be the Dat Team Hollow. So this one actually has the Vox Hollow effect from Katowice 2014 on it which is a pretty rare to come by effect and it's also a pretty unique sticker overall. It does have a very interesting wolf logo. There was kind of a weird amount of wolf stickers or wolf base stickers in this actual capsule, but this one specifically I think is a really good option just simply because it does have that box hollow effect, which is pretty unique and obviously getting more rare by the day, and also because the sticker overall doesn't look that bad. It's also the only time Dat Team has ever had a hollow or any sticker for that matter in any collection, so it's pretty rare. The next sticker from this collection I want to talk about is the London Conspiracy Hollow. This one has a lot of good factors for investing, one of the main ones of course being that it's one of those unique purple hollows that doesn't really exist anywhere else in the game. Another big one, of course, being that it has a very simple design, which means it looks good on crafts. Other than that, though, I can't really recommend too many other hollows from this collection. I would say that it is maybe a good idea to look at the Copenhagen Wolves Hollow. This one has a little bit more hollow effect than the other stickers in the collection, which is something to be considerate of. But the Copenhagen Wolves are a pretty active team, and they could have more places in majors in the future, so that could affect their price. There's also, of course, the I by Power Hollow, but this one is a far cry from the Ketavici 2014 version, and it also doesn't have that unique carbon fiber effect that the Dream Hack 2014 paper sticker version of it has, so I would say overall this one's probably going to stay pretty close to its current price. The Titan Hollow is much the same, despite me owning one of these on a gun, I do think that it is a pretty basic sticker and doesn't really have very good factors for investing. The only other one I would say to keep your eyes on is going to be the ESL Red Foil. This is a pretty rare and also pretty interesting looking tournament sticker, and it's one of those ones that you usually wouldn't want to get out of a capsule, but this one isn't actually too bad of something to get out of the capsule itself. I believe it's actually profit as well, which is pretty pretty nice. It's actually a pretty good looking foil overall, I don't really have too many quarrels with it, and it looks pretty good on guns as well. I've actually been looking to try and get one of these as a 4 times craft on an op red line, but despite being a matching sticker craft, and also despite there being a lot of AKs of the exact sort, there's actually not that many op red lines out there with the sticker combination on it that are actually available for purchase. Simply put, it's a pretty good foil. Anyway guys, thank you so much for checking out this video today, I really do hope that you consider leaving a like on the video to show your support for the channel, and also consider checking out my skin bay link in the description below, it's free to use and doesn't cost you anything extra that you have to pay just for using the link, so it's a really good option and it does support the channel directly 
as I said. I would also consider subscribing to the channel because I am the latest source of all the best investment tips on YouTube. And obviously when it comes to investing, you're going to want to be the first, not the latter. And that's going to be the most important thing overall for making profit. So anyway guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again in the future. I will see you all next time. Peace. Oh, and of course, quick little note at the end of the video, be sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter in the links in the description below if you want to go ahead and connect with me.